Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jackie and we are enjoying life's journey. Today I'm going to be sharing how you can sign up to work for one of the Amazon warehouses. I currently work at one of Amazon's sort centers. Um, this is one of the warehouses, it's kind of the middle um, in the process. So we have our fulfillment centers. Those are the warehouses that fulfill the Amazon order. So when someone makes an order online, the products are stored there. So they have people who get them ready and they package them up into boxes and then they send them off to the sort centers. And that's where I work. We divide up all the boxes and get them uh, divided up and onto different trucks going to the delivery station where they need to be delivered. Uh, we still use um, some UPS air and ground, just depends on the location. Uh, but we have a lot of delivery stations now. So then um, you could also be working at a delivery station um, and they're the ones that are getting the boxes ready and organized for the drivers, whether you're driving for Amazon Flex as an independent contractor or if you're driving for a third party um, or as the drivers who actually drive the vans. Those are usually third party companies. They hire their own employees, but then they come and pick up packages um, and then they deliver them out to the houses. So it's um, pretty cool. I've worked at two fulfillment centers before. Um, this is my third sort center. I'm actually, um, in a month, I'm actually gonna be transferring uh, back to a different fulfillment center. Uh, and I have driven for Amazon Flex before, so I've kind of seen um, all three or four, I've actually seen all four areas of working at Amazon. Um, I do think it's a great place to work. One of the reasons I like the sort centers is because it is part time. However, some fulfillment centers are now offering um, flex schedules or part time positions or uh, reduced hour positions. So it's making it a little bit more manageable for those of us who don't want to work 10 hour shifts four days a week um, or we don't want to do 40 hours in general so it's helping us uh, find that so we're going to jump on the website I'm going to show you where to go to find um, jobs that are in your area so from a good old Google right you're going to type in it's hiring Amazon okay and the website is actually hiring.amazon.com so I'm just going to pick this one right here once you're here, you're going to uh, type in your zip code up at the top here, right? So you could also, there's job opportunities. Um, so again, they have fulfillment centers, sort centers, delivery stations, um, XL warehouse. So these are for extra large items, um, distribution centers, um, groceries, Amazon Air. Um, they also have um, different things in corporate, customer service roles, those type of things. Uh, they also have... Um, we recently had someone come to the warehouse, the Source Center, that worked at an Amazon facility where they actually printed t-shirts. So Amazon is doing some, some cool stuff. Um, and then we also have things like the Amazon lockers or um, these are kind of like areas where I haven't been to them. I'm picturing it like a P.O. box type room, right? With a bunch of lockers, something like that. I don't know if you've ever been to one or worked at one. Yeah, let us know. Um, again, you could be an Amazon delivery driver. So this, um, most of those drivers are probably gonna work um, under a third party. You could be Amazon Flex. Now, if you are working as an Amazon employee, whether you're an independent contractor or an actual employee, you cannot work for more than one place at a time. I was working at a sort center for 2020 peak. So I did 2020, I worked through part of 2021. I left there. I started working for Amazon Flex. So I was not approved to be a Flex driver until they verified I was no longer working at the sort center. And then when I applied to go back to the sort center or a new sort center, um, I actually, I did get notified from Amazon Flex that I can no longer drive for Amazon Flex. So you can only be, um, with them at one time. Now, if you're working as a delivery driver for a third party, um, maybe you can still do um, both. Don't quote me on that, I don't know. I've heard of people doing it. Um, I'm not sure, but that's that, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it as everything. I live in El Mirage, Arizona, so my zip code is 85335. So I'm just gonna search my area. Um, now you can do here, you can um, customize your search here. So if you want to, how many hours a week do you want to do? I leave it at the highest, the 40 hours a week. I don't want to work 40 hours a week. Um, I do, like I said, I do part-time, 
but I don't want to limit my search too much because maybe I'll be uh, missing out on like a reduced hour opportunity or something like that. But otherwise you would go um, to the next one if you wanted to, uh, which time works best for you. We have early morning, daytime, evening, night, weekend, weekend, or weekday, weekend. Again, I do not put anything on there because I want to see everything that's available to me. Um, usually evenings or overnight shifts will pay um, what they call a shift differential. Um, and also, um, if you're working a weekend shift at a fulfillment center, you will get a shift differential, but not at the source center, something I learned. That's kind of why I'm transferring. Um, so we're gonna skip that, but you could put that on there. Um, and the same thing, do you wanna be a regular, actual employee or seasonal? I don't mark that as well. Most of these that you're gonna see, a lot of them are gonna be um, you'll see it come in um, spurts. You'll see a bunch of seasonal opportunities, some regular opportunities, and usually, um, even if you wanna be regular, just sign up for seasonal because they're gonna start converting you to a regular, um, what we call blue badge. You'll get converted um, down the line anyways. Okay, and then again, um, you know, when do you wanna start? Again, I don't mark that. I just wanna see what is available in my area. So as of right now, we have um, four locations, if you will, that are hiring. So I have um, a fulfillment center in Goodyear. So again, I live in El Mirage. Um, and so it's about nine, about 10 miles away, not too bad. This is a regular position. So you would actually be just hired on automatically as a Amazon associate, as a blue badge. Uh, and this is a full-time position. This says pay rate up to $17.15. So that's the highest that you get paid if you were working one of those shift differential type jobs. So there's 43 different shifts available. We'll look at that in a minute. We have the sort center. This is Litchfield Park. This is actually the one that I work at. Um, but I'll be transferring. This good year, um, this Fulfillment center might be the one I'm transferring to. It might not be. I'll see when I get in there. Um, but this is the sort center that I'm at. Um, we do have a few other sort centers here in Arizona. This is, again, part-time. It's seasonal, so you're going to start off as a white badge, as we would call it. Uh, and then a lot of times after you've been there anywhere from a month to five months, they'll end up converting you to a blue badge, just depending on um, how many blue badges they have and if they're ready to convert. Um, the same thing up to 1750 again that's if you're working like a later shift okay this has four shifts available this is another fulfillment center this is in phoenix it's about 15 miles away from where i'm at so again this kind of helps you like what's closest to you um what's available based on your schedule and this is full time and it's seasonal and this only goes up to 1635 so we do have a delivery station only one shift available up to 1750 this is in phoenix as well I have a delivery station like really, really close to my house. That's the one in Surprise. That's the one that I would deliver for Amazon Flex. Their shifts are always, um, that shift over there was always through the night and it's full time. So like it wasn't gonna work for me. So what I do first is um, I'm looking at a few things. One, it's do I want full time or part time? That's the first thing I'm gonna probably look at. Then I'm gonna look at how close is that to where I live. Okay. So if I was trying to say, okay, well, I want to look at this one. So here shows you your shifts options. Okay. This has Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. You're working at five in the morning till 8 a.m. And then on Sunday, you're actually doing what we call a double shift or you're working two shifts. So our schedule for the sort centers, they're scheduled for four hours, but they work. Um, so you'll hear flex shift or flex schedules they're kind of used differently depending on the building so the sort centers they work a flex schedule meaning based on how much work we have you're scheduled for four hours but if we don't have enough work they can send you home an hour early or if they're really busy they can keep you another hour so i always tell people because um, I'm currently a learning ambassador at this location um, for the next month before I leave. Um, but I always tell everybody, plan for five hours all the time. Because I've been at this particular location for seven months. And I can tell you on one hand, that's how many times we didn't do five hours. 
So I always say plan for five hours, have your schedule open for five hours and be physically and mentally prepared to work five hours. That way when you come in, you're not upset when they say, hey, we're gonna flex up. Um, that's just something, if you're watching this and you've never worked at a sort center, you're looking into working at a sort center, always plan on a five hour shift. That way you're not stressed about it. On the flip side, financially with your money, plan on the least hours, right? Just so you're not expecting that all the time either. Um, so yeah, so this says 16 hours, most likely you're gonna do 20 hours a week, okay? So that's what I'm gonna look at next. I'm gonna look at what are the days, what are the times? Is it something that I wanna work, that I can do in my schedule? You're gonna notice all these shifts they have, um, they're gonna have at least one weekend day, a Sunday or a Saturday. So for me, I was like, well, I'll pick Sunday um, as my weekend day. I also knew that I could not work on Wednesdays because my daughters have half day at school, and I knew I wanted the uh, what we call the day shift. Um, which basically starts at like 9.30. So that was what I was looking for. So that's usually what I look here is to see. These are uh, 15.50 is what you're at. Now, um, once you do, if you convert from seasonal to blue badge, my experience was I got a 50 cent raise. Um, so I actually make 16 now, not 15.50. Um, is that like that all the time? Is that at every location, at Amazon, around the world? I have no idea, but that was my experience um, with this last conversion that I did. And then once you are an Amazon associate, you actually get kind of like a step plan. So it's like each year they kind of give you an estimate, like you should get about this much in a raise um, each year. Um, so will I'm gonna find out if that happens next year or not if I automatically get that raise or not. So these are the options. Um, these would not work for me. When I'm at the sort center, I, I want to try to um, schedule, you know, the least amount of days possible just because I know I'm going to have to more likely work extra anyways. Um, but yeah, so you could take a look at that and see if those even work out for you, if it's a close spot for you. Let's take a look at the fulfillment center. So this one they are saying it's uh, regular, meaning you're not a seasonal employee. From my understanding, you'll be hired on as an actual employee. Um, so this you can see here, this is 7 p.m. to 5.30 in the morning, so that's why it pays more, that shift differential, right? This is a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So with Amazon, they'll refer to your schedule as front half or back half. So if you're scheduled as a front half, that means you're working the beginning of the week, back half, you're working towards the end of the week. Um, usually they, again, they're going to include um, some weekend days on there. So again, you just look and say, okay, well, do I want to work front half or back half? These look like they're mostly um, night shifts, 7, 7 p.m. Yeah, scroll, you scroll down, make, have a list of like, what are your things? You know, is it, are the hours, the days, like what's most important to you? Like, where do you need accommodations for, you know, fix your, to fit your schedule? Um, so this one is paying a little bit less, but it's still a 7 p.m. And it could be possibly because it's only Saturday. It's not Saturday and Sunday. That's what I feel. I feel like the, pay, the extra pay might have been because you're working Saturday and Sunday. All right, now we have a 7 a.m., but see, it's only 16 an hour. Um, but that's, you know, more than 15.50, right? Um, but again, you're working, it might be more because you're working Saturday and Sunday versus just one of those days. But yeah, so that's how you'd go on and you'd find, you know, what you want to do. Let's just say I picked one, right? And now I want to apply for that. I would hit apply. And then you're going to follow whatever the prompts are. I'm not going to do this with you guys because I've already done stuff and I don't want to accidentally apply for something again. Um, you can preview the steps here. So you're gonna select the job, right? You're gonna complete required documents and then you're gonna schedule a pre-hire appointment. So the pre-hire appointment is going to be where they are going to do your drug test and take your badge photo. Um, now there is no interview process in these jobs. It's literally, if you pass the background check, then you pass the drug screen you're ready to go. So most of the time with these types of jobs, they're gonna show, let me see if they have this uh, start date option on here. 
So this has different start dates, right? So if you notice, I'm actually looking at the website, it is June 23rd. So a lot of these are scheduled for a few weeks out. So that allows for the background check and the drug screen, okay? So, um, but you can get in pretty quick. If your background check is clean, you can get in, um, you could probably get that back within a day or two and you could go do the drug test. I've literally, when I came back to the sort center, I filled out my application stuff online right here and I scheduled my appointment for my drug test that afternoon. I went the same day and, and did my drug test. Um, so I got it all out of the way in one day and then I started, you know, a few, a few weeks later. Yeah, so super, super easy to get a job at Amazon. The biggest thing you gotta do is just go on to hiring.amazon.com and type in your zip code and then take a look and see what is in the area. Uh, based on you know when you're available, how far you wanna travel, if you want part-time, full-time, days, nights, whatever it is, um, you can go ahead and search for that and then you can apply for it. Uh, and they're gonna start, you'll have to fill out your information on there for them to do the background check. Uh, and then you'll schedule your appointment to go do the drug test. And like I mentioned, they do your uh, badge photo usually at the same time that you go in for your drug test. So if you're worried about what you're gonna look like, be ready. Uh, there's no interview, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then they're gonna tell you when your start date is, and then you will show up to your facility on that first day. Um, we also get a $110 uh, credit for Zappos um, shoes, so basically work shoes. Um, so you can order your shoes even before you start. Um, so on your very first day, you're gonna show up and you're gonna have your work shoes on, you'll have your badge, or you'll get your badge um, when the learning team meets you at the door and then you'll start your orientation and your training um, for that. Once you're on, um, like I said, once you've been there for a few months, you'll probably be offered to convert to a blue badge. Um, and then at that point, you can, once you've been there for, I think, two months to three months, like 60 to 90 days, you can actually request a transfer to other buildings um, if you decide that you need a schedule change or more hours or you even want to just learn um, something else or there's a location that's closer to you um, and things like that. So I just encourage you, just go on the website periodically. It does update all the time um, and good luck. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if I missed anything, please share those as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.